and welcome to today's stand up and uh we are going to do our stand up routine we are going to be checking in with how was yesterday uh and how is today are we ready um and what the progress of course have we made since yesterday and any blockers or any support that we need please shoot the question re here right so that um our fellows and those our tutors can be able to help us accordingly. So yeah, welcome. Let's take people who really want to go first. We want to nominate. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I, I know that we are all ready to share, so Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes, Abel. All right. So good morning, everyone. Uh, so yes, yesterday we were able to uh, understand how the tokenization was implemented on the uh, Gari Logistics project that they have done to kind of make Amarik uh, and LP better. So we spend much of our time understanding how the tokenization work and how we can implement it within our project. Apart from that, we were able to uh, finally have our clean uh, data. And as well, we kind of created a strategy how to tag the data. Uh, apart from that, for today, we plan to uh, get started with training the data set, the NLP. and. After doing, after doing that, uh, we plan to evaluate and assess our results. Uh, and also, we have uh, kind of classified the documents we have to tag within our team. And any blockers that we are facing currently is uh, kind of not being able to get the tokenization method they used. But I'm sure we're going to get there. Uh, apart from that, everything is going well. And I, I think we are on the right track or on the right speed, I guess. And uh, we are trying to understand and learn a lot from each other as well within the team. So that has been our progress so far. And thank you. Have a good day. Great. Thank you so much, Abel. That was very, very detailed. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Pasilel and then Kerod. All right. Hey, guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, all right. So, yeah, uh, yesterday we had assignments. So uh, we had we had to split the attention between uh, doing the project and then uh, actually focusing on uh, maybe interim submissions. So basically, I think most me and most of my team have understood uh, the the whole components of the project uh, to understand what each part is doing and so trying to explain that apart from that uh, yeah we have cleaned the data and we are preparing to uh, train but I would like to ask Abel if maybe he would share uh, a tagging mechanism because the only thing I understood was you know we would manually do it so if he found another way uh, that would be best, but yeah, we are preparing to label the data uh, because that's sort of something collectively that we have to do. That's where we are at. Oh, great, Basilel. Abel, uh, do you want to respond? Sure, sure. So the thing is, uh, so we are trying to do the, data, the tagging on the parse data set, which means on the CSV file. So we created a tag column so that we can identify an ad and an ad uh, text. So the thing is, Yabbal recommended that we do it manually because uh, it need a throw attention throughout the tagging. And for that purpose, uh, we kind of is we kind of approaching it only tagging the ads that we we are trying to do that basically. So we are trying to tag the ads only uh, sections. Apart from that, uh, we are not trying to implement any automation because of uh, Yapubar's request. And so I it think is that's the, 
yeah yeah oh okay and uh, so when you target is there like a, a format uh, that you, we should specifically follow or you just write add not add or something like that I don't know. so the, the thing is uh, uh, if you've seen the first uh, csv file there is three columns which is a text id and a date so uh, when we added another extra column and uh, named it as a tag, or you, we can, you can name it any, anything you want. So basically, after doing that, we only tag the ads. Uh, when we leave the other uh, text as a blank, we own the tag columns. So after doing that, when we find an ad, we will give it the specific, for example, entertainment, the, uh, the, the things that the Abubal told us, the categories, we try to label the ads we found. So by default, if there is a tag, which means it's an ad, you understand? Okay. okay. And then in the ad, there's a description as to whether it's entertainment or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. So we will use the specific wording for that specific ad so that it can be uniform throughout the tagging. So whenever we uh, finalize the tagging and upload it to other group to use it as well, we assume uh, you guys are doing the same thing, meaning you are trying to tag the ads only with their uh, specific category. Uh, rather than that, it's useless, I believe. Uh, saying not ad is not useful. We just can leave it blank. All right, perfect. So yeah, most people are listening, hopefully, and maybe we would unif we would follow. We would all follow this. All right. Sorry, uh, I have a question. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the the description that uh, put yesterday or before yesterday, or yeah, yeah gave us uh, a description. So whether it's an ad or not, um, it has to be tagged, uh, I believe. Uh, if it's not an ad, what kind of uh, tag is it going to be? Like the 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 list that he gave us, the vertical, uh, um, what we call it, elements. I, I don't know uh, whether it's politics or gambling or uh, financial, etc. Uh, that that. Is what the description says. Uh, I don't know if I understand that fully. So, if the tutors could say something about it, thank you. Great. Thanks for raising that, AIA. Can someone um, respond to that? Anyone who understands that? Uh, you mean like we have to uh, label on every message we got? You mean like that? Uh, yeah, yeah. That yes, that's what I understand. Uh, uh, I don't think so. Even that's not even possible. Uh, for example, it says uh, the, the the politics tag, right? politics yeah, news yeah, and yeah. media including discussion of social uh, government politics etc that has to be tagged as um yeah i uh, saw that politics but, but it but might I not be an ad uh, why under, uh, what i understood is if you get uh, an automotive ad uh, something yeah. uh, it is about a car or uh, something like that you put yeah it as uh, an automotive uh, of course uh, and like maybe kind of i don't know how which are yeah, so, <laughs> so we need clarification on that that's my question we are doing different thing uh when you find an ad you give it a tag that's what uh 
uh, you guys are doing right yeah uh, then the, we put it a sector yeah yeah like if it is a, a media if it is a, a travel yeah uh, if it is a telecom company we put uh, telecom as a tag and it's an ad you give it either true or zero uh one for 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 ad or not right uh if and it add. is an ad mm -hmm. if it is an ad uh you put just uh auto automotive or uh entertainment something like that and uh, yes you get, that's uh, if the label is filled uh, with some value uh, that means it is an ad if it is if, not, it's, it's, if it's not you are not going to uh tag it right yeah yeah uh, okay so that that's what my question is, is, it, is which one is i mean i don't want to waste my time or our time yes, yes, so, so, sorry uh, yeah yeah so the uh, thing yeah. is it's not realistic to kind of be labeling all this amount of data if you uh, saw the amount of data that is uh, allocated to your team to tag is basically about fifteen thousand rows and additional yeah. I, I, I believe there is 10,000 more rows on the second data set that is assigned to you as well. So the thing is, it's not realistic to kind of tag every single uh, text message. So we have to be wise about it. And I believe tagging the ad is uh, the best thing we could do for this project. I can think of okay. a way uh, tagging the other data sets uh, might be helpful in other projects. But in this specific project, tagging the ad uh, might be the more uh, kind of useful thing to do. So we approached it in that way, but if there is a necessity to tag each and every single message, uh, we might be able to do that. We might uh, dedicate more time to the tagging, but uh, there is other parts we might, uh, we have to do as well. So uh, we kind of are uh, trying to take the best possible approach to this, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. uh, the the second uh, sub description about the politics and uh, uh, profanity, religious, and other other things is basically uh, within the ads. If there is a gambling or a profanity or something that uh, uh, we shouldn't be uh, kind of advertising as well, you yeah. understand? For example, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, we shouldn't be advertising in a gambling manner or in a politics or in a profanity manner. So yeah. we might have an extra tagging for those for such type of ads. And I, I believe, especially for the profanity part, it's prominent throughout the data set because it's common to see uh, such ads within our Telegram uh, channels here in Ethiopia. So okay. uh, I, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, another layer of uh, tagging is them. For example, if we find an ad and if it is within that entertainment and if it have a profanity content, we might tag and we might use another tagging to indicate that it have a profanity content. You understand? Yeah, but, but, but I thought we anyway, I understand the, the thing, but yeah, I, yeah. I, I, so, I, will, I, will, I will do accordingly. Thanks. Yeah, the, I believe that's the best approach so far. Uh, okay. The big source might say otherwise, and we might uh, kind of hear what their thoughts are on this specific particular case. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for the conversation, Ayaya uh, Abel and Mubarak. Yep. Uh, let's continue to Kerod. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so, actually, my team leader gave uh, the first stand up. So, he gave us the overview of what yesterday was and what we are going to do today. So, uh, just to add on that, yeah, yesterday I was working on the data pre processing. Uh, and in the afternoon, I was working on uh, the interim submission. So, today uh, we are assigned to do the uh, hugging. So that's what we are going to do for some time and for the afternoon or for the evening, we are going to train and fine tune the 
model that we chose and we will see what happens and uh, yeah uh, the conversation that we they had uh, earlier was a lot uh, i had a lot of insights so it does make sense what yaya said but i think it's just uh, the matter of time that we can we cannot do that but it does make sense so thank you guys i just want to add a Great, uh, thanks Kerud. Uh, before we proceed, Biniam, do you want to raise uh, that question? Do you want to open your mic? The question you put in the chat box. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Okay. I severely hope. Uh, it's like a bit and bytes. If you know the package is not really functioning, it's not detecting the GPU that was allocated. Um, it was working on the default environment, but the default environment sometimes conflicts, so I could not um, work on that one. So I created a new Fonda environment, and then I tried to install, you know, a CUDA, uh, a CUDA toolkit and PyTorch, which is um, CUDA enabled and everything. And first, it was not detecting the GPU at all. But when it finally, when PyTorch detected the GPU, uh, bits and bytes uh, could not detect the GPU. So, if anyone has faced this error, I really need help. Thank you. Anyone, guys? Birohan, do you want to hop? Um, no, actually, I was just uh, joining and try to talk about the day, maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm lost. Um, hey, hey Birohan, um, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, I we can. can. Oh, okay. Have you found in the, any model? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not the person to help you right now because, <laughs> okay, uh, I haven't actually heard your voice because the, the connection was a bit blocking. And then when I get in, I just when I say about my part, and then that's I'm so, I'm sorry to interrupt. So um, I'm not the right person. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think nobody can help. I'm gonna figure it out on myself. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, Biniam, are you satisfied? Um, not really. This is okay. not the satisfying situation. <laughs> I'll figure <laughs> it out. I, I see. Uh, guys, do we have anyone who have found that? I'm not sure, but I'm not sure about the question, but Bini, uh, are you having problem connecting or what's, what is it? It's not de detecting, so if it's not de Dictating, maybe it's wise to contact the team or yeah, 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 I think because they are the one in control. Okay, or it's what? Like, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, so PyTorch has detected the GPU, right? So the full bit quantization package, the, the bits and bytes that that's going to reduce the, the memory. Your yeah, computer resource stuff we need. It's not detecting the GPU. I think it's detecting it, but the bits and bytes uh, package is not detecting it. So I am not able to reduce the memory needed to you know, compile the models. I was able to do it on Google Code, but I was not able to do it on the given EC2 instance of, instance of AWS. So it's just a problem with, you know, quantization needs the GPU and uh, you know, it's embed is not detecting the GPU. That's the problem. Yeah, well, we have not reached that, that stage, so yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I think uh, uh, you're a bit ahead, William. So I'm sure we're going to be facing the same problem and asking you for help. So uh, try to utilize your time wisely and figure out the project 
for the whole Tera Karami. Okay, we are going to be our favor. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really a helper. I'm just trying to, you know, like, uh, you know, trying to, you know, fine tune models on open source data sets before we're trying to find in models in the Amharic data that was given. So in case we face some errors, I'm just trying to stay ahead for my team since they're working on data application. That's just pretty much the situation. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Uh, uh, we will reach out to you once we reach that stage. So basically, uh, we were going according to the plan, to the blueprint that the, pro the NX team gave us. So that technically was supposed to be what we are doing, what we are supposed to be doing today. And I think we're going to be reached on the same kind of intersection. So we will reach out to uh, Miriam. Thank you for raising the issue, by the way. It's a heads up. Uh, uh, I have a question for Miriam, if you can answer. Uh, are you using uh, a framework for fine tuning or you just have a uh, are I you using what? Uh, a framework fine for fine tuning. Oh, so like uh, there is hugging face, right? There is the transformers library, and then there is PyTorch with the GPU, and then there is uh, have you heard if you have read about QLora, the you know the quantization technique that they introduced to reduce the memory you know overhead that is also one package that i'm using so it's like a transformers package the half meter efficient fine tuning package the bits and bytes package and vital uh, these are the uh, frameworks or tools i'm using currently so they are kind of state of the art fine tuning tools so yeah Okay, so in the documentation, sorry, Benjamin, um, in the documentation, say like uh, there is no re um, requirement as long as you have GPU, it should work, uh, as long as you have Coda version 11.2. Can you check the Coda version? Okay, um, the Coda version, I think, is 12.2. Okay, so this is not the problem. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it has detected a uh, PyTorch has detected it, but it's just specifically the bits and bytes. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm looking at uh, yes, I'm looking at that uh, at the documentation. So, um, let's just see like uh, what could be the issue, but um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I tried to install from the source from their uh, and the make file is failing. Could not just install from source. So it, it installs the latest version. But when I try it in the notebook, when I import it and try to configure the parameters, it just fails and it raises an error that says um, GPU is available but could not be detected for some reason. Okay. It just, uh, it, this it, is the error, it error message to... says, like, it says that. What, what does the error message say? Um, GPU is available, but could not be detected. It's, and it tells me to create an issue on the bits and bytes repository. <laughs> so, it's kind of anywhere, okay. I think. Yeah. So All right. Uh, um, but, but can't you, like, uh, sorry, um, uh, um, okay, even though I don't have a, a, an answer, but I'm just asking to clarify. Um, which, which model are you trying to, to download? Awesome. So now for testing, I'm trying. I'm trying with Microsoft Pi and Lama. So just for speed, I was trying to use a three billion parameter uh, model. So it actually worked on Google Colab, but it's just failing. Yeah. In the C2 instance. No. So no. So you're seeing this error with which model? Huh? With Lama, yes. you're trying to use. I didn't hear you. Let me say the model again. Okay. Oh yeah, Llama 2, 7 billion and Microsoft Llama. 5 for now. Okay, with Llama 2. Um, right. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, Sorry, Biniam, can I ask you something? <laughs> no? Uh, Biniam? Uh, are you using Amharic dataset or English dataset? Uh, it's English. Uh, then it should then it should work i mean i, I i've tried this last night uh, i stopped when i trained the, the fine tune model so it okay so the yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah it worked the from 16 bit to 4 bit it worked and I used uh, uh, data just for practice. Uh, yeah, I also it worked for me. Um, you know, a little bit too large, by the way. It's just fading on on the GPU is always given to us. Uh, okay, maybe maybe I, I will send you the notebook and then you can try it there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. uh, I would have to see it again. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will talk with the guy and I'll try to fix it. <laughs> okay, could you update us on the Slack if you fix the problem uh, or it got fixed? Um, okay. I will update you both. Thank sure. you. All right. Uh, let's have then um, Abdulahmid Musa and followed by Birahan. All right. Good morning, everyone. So I have a question regarding the data labeling parts. Uh, so besides the normal labelings, like the tags, there are additional labels, and politics, uh, profanity, and others. So. Uh, what I was wondering is, should we be adding an additional column for those uh, additional tags, or should we just be providing them as a comma separated uh, list in a uh, like one of in one of the columns? So just so that we'll be uh, working on a uniform uh, way. Uh, so maybe Abil, if you can comment on that. I guess Abil is not here. Anyone else? Mubarak? Can you repeat it again? Uh, All right, what? Yeah, so there are additional tags like gambling, politics, profanity, and religious, which are besides the normal tags, right? So, so what I'm saying is, should we be adding an additional column for those tags, or should we be just using those instead of the media, entertainment, and others? Uh, like, we planning to do so. If uh, it is uh, if the ad is a religious ad, if it is content is a religious, uh, we plan to put religious. That's what we plan. And the... Uh, Oma separated or another column? Another column, yeah. Uh, another column. Since it is a, a CSV, it's it's it still is gonna be. Okay, this column for the last like Yes, we're gonna oh, name, yeah. name it label, label end and do it. I I think Abdul Hamid's question is because the the the, the labeling that Yabdabal gave us uh, has two sections, right? I think that yes. that's your question, right? So, I think we are going to use them all together. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, we haven't di discussed it that, that way, so we can uh, decide it. I, I think it is a general guideline that we have to put all uh, of them on our data. Just pick from here to have the uh, same format. That's what I understood. And we, we don't have to use gambling uh, it is not uh, uh, like it must. That's what I understand. 
So, so what the document says is tags useful to label and add together with one of the above category. So should we be like, for example, if a, an ad is supposedly telecom ad and also has some profanity in it, like should we tag it both telecom and profanity or should we go with one of them is my question. Or should we just uh, create two separate columns and then one of them will be teleco telecom and one of them will say profanity. Uh, maybe and uh, and uh, using comma separated may help uh, to uh, not uh, creating a new column may not help. Yes, so I am just asking this so that we'll all be uh, doing it in a uniform way, so that later when we combine those data sets, it will be much easier to do so. So we can decide which one, which path should we go with. I think comma separated is the best one, right? We don't need new columns yeah. right there. So one column and the commas was separated. Uh, right. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you for that conversation. Can we hear from Birahan? You raised your hand. Birahan, are you still here? All right, we can continue to the next person who wants to share. Anyone? Yes, Yvonne. So, uh, good morning, everyone. In our group, we are still doing data pre-processing. We had a bug but we are trying to solve it, yes. And yeah, we, we, are, we have divided tasks and we are trying to see how fast we will accomplish the project. Yes, that's all from our side. Thank you. All right, Yvonne, um, I'm seeing more people here. Anyone who wants to go before we start to nominate? Um, can I add some additional questions? Absolutely. All right, so uh, like the Tikva, channel has been separated between groups right so like at the end uh, i was thinking about like how we are going to be uh, downloading each team's uh, uh, each team's csv file so maybe let's uh, create a, a an excel sheet and then all of us can go there and uh, do the labeling part so at the end we'll just be downloading a single uh, csv file um, if if like it makes it a lot easier when we want to get uh, label data later. So what do you guys say? Should we just uh, continue yeah. with each of the groups? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, the, the idea. We, we were just talking about that. So yeah, it, it's like, you just read I'm, my uh, RMA. I'm uploading uh, the CSV and if it works for us, we may share it on Slack. Nice. So, so all of us would just go there and label our parts. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Um. Also, uh, another question. I'm sorry. I'm speaking without raising my hand. Um. On the labeling part, uh, I think me and my team agreed on labeling as 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 one, the number one. And I think uh, we should all do that, or if you, if any other groups has a better idea, we should all have a uniform way of labeling that. So, so Milat, I will just answer this. We are in the same group, but like uh, Abil was uh, earlier saying, should we just have a single label column and uh, for 
ads, you just uh, create the tags in them. If it is like a media ad or a telecom ad, you'll just be writing uh, the tag in them and whichever uh, row that doesn't have any value in that tag column would not be considered as an ad. So we'll just have a single column and in that column we'll just be adding the tags. And if uh, any column, if any row has an empty uh, tag column, we'll just be discarding it as not an ad. So like there will be a single column. Okay, sure, got it. Okay. Sorry, can I say something again? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, the, the, the problem is it's kind, it, it will be kind of classification problem, right? So if we are uh, not labeling them like either true or false or zero or one, uh, in the encoding part, I mean, for the classification, uh, those politics, comma, telecom or telecom, th those will not be a good idea. I think we must keep the add or not add as it is. And then we gave a label for that ad. That 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 it the uh, I think that's how it has to be. I, I I'm not sure. Just think about the classification. Thank you. So sorry. So yeah, yeah. So the thing yes. is, uh, yeah, we have to kind of make the tagging process much faster. So leaving it blank will have will give us the luxury to populate it with any kind of data that we want. We might say it not add. We might say it zero. You might say it one. So uh, however you wanna uh, feed to your data for your fine tuning, it's possible. You understand? Uh, exactly. But yeah. Uh, so yes, you can right. yeah you can use a let's say you can say not add, fill the blanks with not add using the pandas uh, data frame uh, method or uh, so the thing is if you are saying not add in each uh, text that you find it's going to make it's going to take time but if you are it's, just it's yeah. it's just zero or you one can, yes you can do it you can do it that part but as I, as I said, during the tagging process, you just jump the sections that are not ads and tag the ones that are ads because that will make the process much faster because you, you should not be, you, you wouldn't have uh, been doing uh, the tagging for the not ads. You understand? Uh, yeah, yeah. I do understand. It's not the, the, the process that I'm worried about. I'm okay. worried about during the training, uh, you classify a given content either ad or not, right? exactly how are you gonna determine that so everything uh, everything that's labeled is ad yes and if i may interrupt maybe what you are saying is instead of having one column let's uh, uh, put two columns one for exactly. identifying it's an ad and it's not yes. an ad the second one the type of ad if it's uh, yeah. the yeah. data is an ad so we put the type of ad so we will have two columns when so, identifying if it's ad or not, the second one, the type of ad, if it's an ad. So, so the thing is, yeah, 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 I understand, Mikis. So the thing is, we can you can automate that in a simple process because uh, you can uh, kind of create a, dead, a code to uh, identify the column which we are tagging now. And uh -huh. if there is a data, it will uh, kind of populate on another you column. That non an ad. Yeah, yeah, you can't feel so non non can feel yeah, we can automate the process, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't you think? That that's another task. You know, to we are doing it manually, right? You read the the text and uh, you label it, either politics or blah blah, right? On the same sure next to it, you just add zero. All right. So the thing is, if we kind of understand uh, how we want to do things, uh, it's okay because we, I assume I have a method to kind of make the process simpler uh, by automating, uh, classifying the ad in that, and then ads. If you guys want to do it manually, you can go ahead and do it manually, but I promise you, uh, we can do it in an inefficient way. Uh, we might have a call later on, yeah, yeah, because I think it's taking much of the time. For sure, the sure, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Um, I have one additional question if I can add here. 
so if uh, you saw the Tikva uh, JSON, there are some messages like that talk about uh, university Magjabea uh, or university entrance uh, ad. So will will we be like uh, labeling them as an ad or they are just an information and we should just be jumping them? For me, they seem to be an information. Right. So, like any university in trans, um, like I, maybe our focus is for a commercial ad. Don't miss that one. Well, so Carol is saying they are considered as news. Yeah, somehow. So, should we like label them as news or should we just be jumping them? Let's jump them. I'm painting, yeah, because they're news, they're, they're not arts. All right. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Uh, thank you for the conversation, guys. I hope it was clear, Aya and Abdullah Mid Musa. Um, Actually, let's hear from people. Elias, I can see you. Mikias, Basila, mm, no, Meron, Thomas. Anyone who wants to go? Elias? Hello, can you hear me, guys? Yeah, we can. Hello, good morning. Uh, my teammate, Diniam, talked about our product. That's why I, I, I was silent on the farm, and Nikki talked uh, pretty much our progress. We were able to clean the, the JSON data so, so that it will be uh, useful for. Are <clears throat> starting, and uh, we are proceeding to leveling the data. And we managed to uh, explore some models like uh, Lama, Lama, Lama and even OpenAI with our capabilities, and we are reading on the right path. And uh, also, one of <clears throat> uh, one team is working on the front end and back end integration, and uh, we already. That and that's pretty much our progress. And we are working on to start. We are looking for starting the uh, fine tune. That's our progress so far. Hello. Uh, all right, all right, Elias. Um, yeah, keep it up the progress. Can we hear from um, Maron? Yes, Rodolf, you can go first. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so far, <laughs> you know, I'm from the group uh, four, and my teammates have already talked about uh, our progress so far, uh, even is on my teammate. So we are facing a uh, processing uh, a bug and but to go fast we we we, we split our tasks and and trying to figure out the thing today because without the processing we cannot do really uh, the functioning. So uh, we try to contact some other teammates so that they can help us. So I will in contact with some and we're, we're gonna solve that bug today and move on. Uh, in addition, uh, I try personally to download the, uh, an open LLM uh, Lama 2 and it doesn't work for me yet. So 
but at that point also I'm trying to figure out to get some colleagues how to figure out that so these are basically the my startup thank you <laughs> Uh, yeah, bro, okay, Rodolfo, I think we caught some of the things you said. Um, the microphone was a bit low, but I guess it's all right. Let's hear from Meron. Yes, Okay, good morning. Good morning. Uh, my, my teammates uh, were raise our question about uh, data labeling and you now everything is clear. Thank you. Okay, all right, Meron, can we hear from Bradyet? All right, Rodolf, you have a question? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like to ask my, my, my colleague. No, no, no. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, okay, right. So, uh, I'm, I would like to ask my colleagues if uh, somebody was able to uh, automate the processing for the whole channel or if they are just taking one channel by the one channel anyone who wants to reply to that Uh, Abel, Kero, Mubarak, Aya, yes, Aya. Uh, yeah, we were able to automate that. It's just you have to write just one loop and then put everything inside. I will show I'll, I'll show you later, Rodolf. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Sure. Sure. Thank you, Aya. Uh, we are left with just six minutes. Uh, someone asked, uh, what label should we give for software product ads? Anyone who wants to help Musa? Uh, just to clarify what my question is. Okay. Like there are some ads that uh, advertise about software products like um, so like mobile apps and websites and like source ads what should we label them like i couldn't get the correct tag for for them from what yabbal uh, gave us so i wanted to know uh, what we should uh, label them as <laughs> Actually, there is a tag for it. There is computing products in consumer electronics uh, from but, it's a list from centers. Those are like for laptops, smartphones, tablets. Yeah, and it actually says this, this vertical includes business that manufacture or sales computing products or consumer. Yeah, electronics such as laptops, smartphones, tablets, and such. Yeah, but it doesn't talk about softwares. I was gonna ask the same thing. So I think it's the same thing. Uh, if we agree on that, sure. Yeah. I think it's better if we uh, add one more label, maybe, because I think that way much uh, will make that might be better. So maybe let's add another label, like software product add. Uh, yes, or we can just ask Yabbad or the Tena Academy team, so they can kind of add, add it. 
Okay, so we'll ask it later, maybe, or... Yeah, okay, sure. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Um, uh, also, for the insightful conversation that you had here, that, that, that was super uh, informative also to the people who had the same questions. That was great. So thank you guys. We are wrapping up the stand up and I want to ensure that um, no one is leaving with any other question aside from what you said that you'll be looking for clarifications from the tutors. Anyone who has a question they want to ask before we close? Yes, Ahmed. Hello, uh, I have a question about the data that should be embedded uh, to the Pentacom, for example. Uh, should we split it uh, the same data we have or uh, uh, what, what, uh, what we should exactly uh, wait, wait. for this part? Uh, is it clear? <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to soon never tell us to better selling I do the cardinal. Okay, sorry, um, there are disturbance here, but uh, Ahmed, I think I missed the answer you got. Uh, hello, uh, is it clear my question? Uh, is there is anyone understand it or my voice was? Uh... What was your question? Can you come again? Uh, okay, I'm uh, talking about uh, the data that we should uh, embed it for Pentacom, for example, or any uh, other thing you used. Uh, uh, how how we should get this data? Should we spill it uh, the data we we pre-processing now, or uh, what exactly should embed it to to Pentacom? Tele telecom, Pinecom. I'm not sure I heard you correctly. Yeah, Pinecon or or another thing you you used for example. I mean, but uh, about this data should be in the rack and then we should retrieve it. Should it be should uh, it be part of this data? Can we spill it before the training or how how we should do this or how we can get this data? Oh, so so you're talking about the rug part. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, well, Abram, do you want to help? Uh, good morning. I'm, I'm just answering the question Bina asked. I was not listening to the conversation going on right now. Oh, all right. Uh, Ahmed, uh, do you, yes, uh, uh, Ahmed, do you mind putting the question in all week seven so that we can see if there is even any other person who's not here but who can help? Yeah, uh, yeah I will do. All right. Yeah, please do. All right. Thank you, thank everyone. You. We write on time. Uh, yeah, uh, we write on time. Let's go get ready to join the next quick, the next session. Um, well, I'm loading my notion page. Today is 25th.